Hello, and welcome to today's video. Um, today I wanted to talk about the uh, Lego Personalized Mosaic Portrait, or you can find it on lego.com as the Mosaic Maker. Um, this is a set that I got over a uh, VIP weekend, or Insiders weekend. Um, and I got it mainly because, according to Bricklink, it includes 910, including extras, of those uh, one by one um, light bluish gray tiles. So I'll be using that for the Aldani mock. And so uh, this was a relatively cheap way to pick those up. But now that I have the set in hand, um, I went ahead and I opened the first part of the tape uh, to just sort of open up the set, and I really, I wanted to talk about this set. Um, because, uh, so, first off, the the image here, um, this poor, poor child that's, like, having his brain exploded. <laughs> Like, um, yeah, I'm not really sure why they chose to do this, um, because, I mean, I, I, you would think, right, that the simplest, like, and I think it's almost what they were going for, but you would think that you'd want to, you know, have half the face be the actual kid. And then have half the face be, like, built-in mosaic. Um, but I guess they just never got around to actually building the mosaic. And so, I don't know, it's a weird... I don't, I don't like it. Um, and also, the heavy use of yellow, I think, really detracts from this product. Um... So, this product is retiring, um, which I think is unfortunate, uh, now having it, um, which, if I had it before, I would have said something about it then, but I got it because it was retiring and because I had a need for those parts, um, but I really hope that LEGO redoes this in some sort of special way. Uh, because I think this is a great idea, just poorly presented, essentially. Um, because, you know, it's a, it's a typical box. Um, you've got right there on top the, uh, actual size and a one-by-one -one plate. Um, and then around back, you really don't have a whole lot of box art. Uh, just the plates on there. Um, but we'll go ahead and we'll flip it around and it does show you the different colors of plates that you get. Um, which is good. That's nice. Um, and according to Bricklink, so there are 900 of each and then 10 spares, which is a lot, frankly. Um, um, then you'll notice that you've got um, 4,502 pieces. Uh, the other two pieces are a base plate and a brick separator. Um, which, you know, if LEGO does revamp the set, uh, I could see them pretty easily uh, changing out the base plate for some of those uh, art plates. Um, but let's go ahead and we'll open this up and take a look inside. So, going ahead and opening it up, um, it's a pretty easy open. There's two, uh, bits of tape down there. And then, um, let's see if we can't find a way to easily show this. Um, so, you just sort of open the flap like that 
and then it opens up to reveal what is like a really nice uh, layout here that I, I really like if they I really think they shouldn't use all the yellow and I really think that they should design this as more of an 18 plus set because um, this is something that I can see the idea working a lot. Um, again, I just think it's poorly marketed, um, or poorly packaged, I suppose. So, as you can see, um, we've got a bin, or a box of black, a box of yellow, a box of dark bluish gray, a box of white, and a box of light bluish gray. Um, now, I think... It does kind of highlight that LEGO has a real issue right now in that we only have two shades of gray. Um, I do think that like pearl dark gray is a great color and I wish they'd make more like actual bricks out of it um, rather than just accessories. I know we've got um, the one by one rounded plate or stud made out of it um and like we've got some support pillars made out of it but nothing no real like bricks um which is a shame and i know that with like knight's kingdom they had a uh, very light bluish gray um like color that they really only used for that theme i think and that's kind of a shame uh, but, I do like the color selection, um, I think making it in black and white works out as appealing to a large market, um, I think if they redid this, cause while I appreciate yellow being here, um, I do actually think that's a good choice and I would keep yellow, I think you could also throw in, um, you know, I, I think they could easily double uh, this set by just having like nougat, uh, medium nougat, medium tan, and like medium brown, um, would be really good. Um, I don't think you need to have every color across like the race spectrum. Um, you know, I, I, I think that might be a little ridiculous because like, you know, then we're talking reddish brown and uh, dark reddish brown, um, um, like tan, medium tan, dark tan, uh, like all the different kinds of nougat, and it would just, it would get to be a lot, um, frankly, um, but like, uh, maybe even, it would be kind of neat if, uh, white, if they made those, uh, glow in the dark white. Um, it would probably raise the cost of the set significantly, but it would be kind of neat if, like, you know, that was the only part of the portrait that uh, could be shown off at night. Um, but, like, this... So I've said several times that the packaging is poor, and while I do mean that in a lot of aspects, there is also a lot to like. Um, because, while I think it's a shame that it seems like it's clearly marketed for a younger demographic. However, the interior of the box is clearly designed for an older demographic. I mean, you even have a special section for your brick separator. Like, that's... To me, that's just a level of detail that is just so cool. Where, like... Yeah, this is first time taking it out. Oh, it's got a little hole down there um, for the axle. But, like, yeah, it's just, it's such a neat, like, somebody thought of, like, oh, how could we display the brick separator in, like, a special way um, rather than just sort of throwing it in. And, like, this, it doesn't have any instructions as far as I'm aware. Um... It's just sort of, you have the base plate, and you have the pieces, um, 
Uh, so you go for it, and then we'll take a look at light bluish gray, because that's uh, mainly what I got this set for. Um, uh, so the box, it's pretty much just a regular box. You open up the flaps, it's got one, one piece of tape there. Um, and so if we go ahead and reach in, you can see just a whole whole bag full of uh, what should be 910 one by one light bluish gray plates, um, which will be incredibly useful for me and the uh, Algoni mock, but um, as well as I look forward to finding a place for those dark bluish gray um, ones, but uh, as far as the rest of it, I think I'm going to pretty much keep it in the box. Um, I've been trying to keep my boxes a lot less uh, as of late, because um, I filled a whole section of my closet with those, uh, or closet in the studio, um, and uh, which you can actually... Do, do, do. Yeah, you can see down there... Um, and it does go behind that wall, but yeah, that whole bottom section is pretty much all filled with boxes, um, which I'm trying to, eventually I'll go through those ones, um, but I've been trying not to keep uh, boxes as much. Um, I need to find like a BrickLink seller or someone that I can uh, give them to and like hopefully get a little bit back, but I'm honestly not looking for much. Um, but I need to go through those because like I like some of them. I do. Some of them are really neat, like the Death Star box there. Um, really like that one, but a lot of them are just sort of junk that I have um, need to get rid of. Um, but on the topic of boxes. Uh, the whole reason why I bring that up is because I think that I will be keeping the Mosaic Maker box. Um, just until I really have a use for like that base plate up there um, or these other parts. Um, but like, it's a nice storage box. It really is. Um, and it's, it's well presented but I would change some of the things, um, like the color. Um, again, inside of the box, really like, other than heavy use of yellow. Um, outside of the box, I'm not a huge fan of. Um, again, I think that you have to, like, this, I think, is borderline unacceptable. Uh for like box art because you're trying to show off what the product actually is and yeah it does it has a lot of one by one plates in it but like you're not actually showing off that like oh yeah you're making a mosaic of someone like I, I feel like you need to go the extra mile and just recreate half of their face um, with the actual parts in the mosaic maker uh but yeah so kind of sad to see this retire um really wish that i knew about it more before it retired um hopefully if you're watching this video you can pick it up before it retires um but i do really hope that within the next year or two um or a year or two after retiring uh, the Mosaic Maker, that LEGO comes out with a brand new and improved Mosaic Maker. Um, something that could go into the 18 plus art line. Again, I think it's a really good idea. I think this was just sort of poorly marketed. Um, which, I mean, I'm not really bashing on them too hard for that. Because this did, as far as I'm aware... Uh, this was created in the time where Lego was relatively unaware that they could appeal to an adult market. And so they made something like this 
for more adult collectors, but had to market it towards children. Um, which nowadays I think they could perfectly well market this towards adults and make all the money. Um, but yeah, that pretty much does it for today. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, if you're in the U.S. or I believe Canada celebrates at the same time as us, um, could be wrong on that. But uh, happy Thanksgiving and uh, bye bye.